tonight you will give a lecture on a film by Werner Schröter. Yes. So maybe you can explain a little bit uh, what you will talk about today. Uh, I will show his film uh, uh, I don't remember the correct pronunciation of German title. It's the first, his first narrative film, first part of his Italian uh, dialogue. Uh, and uh, for me it's very interesting how uh, Werner Schröter, uh, like, exp exp uh, like the greatest experimental and avant-garde filmmaker, tried to uh, work with narrative and uh, like with story and like with epic and with like uh, with uh, with non-experimental non plot and uh, also I'll uh, tell something about his first films, about uh, his film Der Tod de Maria, Maria Maria Malibran, The Death of Maria Malibran and all, all his uh, experiments on uh, Super 8 and, and yeah. And uh, where do you give this lecture? Uh, in the Seattle in the theater, like not, not cinema, but uh, theater. Sorry for my bad English. <laughs> it's, uh, do you know where people play? Uh, yeah. 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 And uh, they have like small room. In usual time, in this room, uh, actors uh, uh, make their rehearsals before before their performances. And uh, on Saturdays in the evening. Uh, some people uh, they organize a film club there, and I have, uh, and I have there like my underground film club. Uh, it's called Cache, uh, hidden. Like I, I show hidden films like Monty Hellman. Just a week ago it was two lane blacktop and also documentary Hellman Rider <laughs> by coincidence. And today it's Werner Schroeder, and before it was uh, Philip Garelli and. Paul Vitali, a lot of French filmmakers and so on. Mm -hmm. yes. But it's underground uh, film club. <laughs> and uh, uh, who is coming there? I mean, how many people and what type of people? Uh, film buffs, <laughs> uh, students. Really, I don't know. I just uh, put uh, 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 advertisements about uh, these uh, screenings in my live journal and my Facebook and actually there are really a lot of, of my friends and uh, like another journalists, uh, film critics uh, actually not a lot of people like about 30 or 40 it's a good quantity of viewers and uh, Werner Schröter died recently yeah, I know. So maybe uh, you will want to say something about his death as a end of this clip. I don't know what to say about his death because, of course, it was very sad, and uh, I liked very much uh, uh, the text about him written by Olaf Murder in Cinemascope, and I don't know. I, Really, uh, I hoped that uh, he will survive and continue because uh, he, because he made his last film, *The Night of the, uh, the Night of Dog*, *New New Yiddish Yan, and it was uh, unexpected that he finished that film because no, no uh, because a lot of people uh, were sure that he will not finish, he, he wouldn't finish it, and I was sure that he he will continue. And now. Uh... If, if we have a Russian-speaking audience and you want them to come tonight to your screening, to your club in Russian, how would you tell them? What would you tell them to make uh, them come to you? Uh, about, uh, about Werner Schröter? Yeah, for the show tonight. You just like imagine this is now a live, <laughs> live uh, show in television, Russian television, and you want all people from Moscow to come to see Werner Schröter at your club. How you would you? What would you say in Russian? Я показываю все в киноклубе те фильмы, которые ни на что не похожи, и как написал Серж Даней, что Шлетер это великий борочный режиссер. Прямо мало кто знает, но это те фильмы, 
которые показывают, насколько свободным и разнообразным может быть кино, и что оно не может ограничиваться всего лишь э, традиционными схемами и сюжетами, что э, кино гораздо более много, многообразное, на что не похоже, как сама жизнь. Yeah.